All right, I'm gonna try to do this before the sun goes down all the way, but got an Amazon box in today. I loaded it with some other gear here. But this is what I got. This is the cheapest camera drone on Amazon. And uh, uh, it's got a nice box. You can use it as a carrying case, but uh, it's only about $20. So I'm not expecting a lot. And I just tore it right there. And I didn't even bring a tripod or anything to set up. It is extremely lightweight. The camera does not adjust. Came with an SD card. Let's see if I can get the SD card out of it with one hand. SD card is four gigabytes. I'm also gonna post a link to my other video where we used a drone, that was a DJI Spark. Uh, that one you can see a side-by-side -side comparison to the difference here. It's got the controller. Uh, this box here has the charger and some extra propellers, four extra propellers and a, that's a USB SD card reader, so that's pretty cool. And the charger there with the battery. Uh, let me turn the camera off for a second so I can get situation, situated here. Alright. Uh, see if I can get it. <clears throat> you gotta snap the camera down and it opens up. And the battery, I checked it out. It shows that it's fully charged already. The, when you plug it into the charger, the charger lights up. Even if it's not plugged into the wall. Plug it in, it starts flashing already. Uh... I've already played around with it a bit. It is really, really hard to get the battery down inside there enough to close the case. Like, I can't, can't even do that. I don't even know if this thing does video. It probably only does pictures. I can't even get the battery in there to find out. They can, they could stand to make the battery compartment a little bit bigger. Like it does not, it doesn't even fit in there. Like, who designed this? Did you not test it out before you sent it out to the public? The battery does not want to go in. You know what? That's, that's the best I can do. It's like it's bulging out still. And it's not, the battery, the case the cover is not even on there all the way. And there's no switch to turn it off and on. You put the battery in and it's on. So, mm. all right, I, you're supposed to lay it down flat on a level set and surface, but the uh, the camera sticks out underneath it, and you can't lay it down flat. So, I'm gonna launch it from the box. It's got some trim controls. That I'm trying to figure out here. Let me go this way. Oh, turn it on. Let it sink. There it goes. You're supposed to go put this all the way down for it to sink up. All right, a, it's a little windier than I want it to be. Whoa, there's no control of it. I'm just cutting my grass. It's not even taking off. I don't I gotta face it that way. It doesn't want to take off now. Well I guess it's not fully charged anymore. Alright well the battery died on me again so that's charging up. So I'm going to take the opportunity to go over what comes with it. Uh, first, take a look at the box here. It works as like a carrying case. It's got the handle on it. The box says Explorers. 
Explorers 4 channel remote quad control quad copter 2.4G. The instruction manual says 007 series 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, yes, yeah, so, but and then the uh, the log the label for the brand Key Toys, I guess. It's just a sticker that comes off, and there's another brand name underneath it. So that's always promising. If another company is willing to steal it or rebrand it, it must be worth something, right? Uh, the controller just says Spy. It's a pretty basic controller. Got the throttle control on the left. The trim is the switch there. That's a trim switch. And then, nope, that's the other trim switch. Not that one. Why have them symmetrical, right? Uh, that's the camera button. That's the... I don't know what the hell that is. The instructions are not very clear on that switch. Uh, when you turn it on, let's see, it's got a, all kinds of gauges. Shows how the throttle, where it is on full power, and all that. And uh, yeah, and then it's got the battery meter. That's really all that's really useful on that. All right, the battery that doesn't fit is back in it. Not completely charged, but I think it should be enough to to check it out. There we go. Okay, it wants to fly to the right, which was the front. Okay. Well, that time it flew to the left. Which way does it want to go? I'm just going straight up. So anyway, let's just see how, yeah, it's too dark outside. Uh, well, let's test out the camera. Uh, well, that's a photo. That's supposed to be the camera button. It's not doing anything. Maybe it only goes when the propellers are spinning. There is no, there is zero, zero reaction to this thing. It's either too high or dropping. I'm just, I, I'm, it's sitting on the ground. Oh, look, the camera is not, it's not even, the battery doesn't fit, so the camera popped out. Maybe that's why it's not taking pictures. You'd think you would at least. Check it to make sure everything fits before you release this to the public. <sighs> well, I can tell you already, even though I haven't bought any, any of them, that there are other options that are a little bit more expensive than this that are just way better. I mean, this one comes off the ground, but that's about all you can do with it. You can't even get the damn battery in it. How are you supposed to fly it? Now let's try the camera. Nope, nothing on the camera. And of course it just pops right back out. Never mind. Only three of the, there it is. And now the battery's dead again.
This is garbage. All right, so the way this thing is designed, as soon as you plug the battery into it, it's on. There's no off switch or anything like that. It's just on all the time. And if we now I can't even get the battery out of it. So yeah, it, the, the thing's gonna die before you can even get the battery in it to fly it. And then like here, it's it, this this is battery is hot. I've probably had it running for a total of three minutes. The battery is hot. All right, well, let's just plug the SD card into my computer and see if it picked up anything at all. I was trying to do video. It wouldn't record. It wouldn't do anything. Maybe it took a picture. Let's see. It took two pictures. Uh, that's like a fuzzy doorway. And that's the, uh, that's, as it was falling out of the sky, that's the corner of the ceiling. Let's see if there's any video. Oh, look, there's five videos, apparently. Which is wrong, it wasn't doing anything, let's see. Oh, look, the camera's right, it's not even, the battery's gonna fit, but the camera popped out. Maybe that's why it's not taking pictures. Okay, the video quality is horrible. The audio quality is horrible. Uh, yeah, I'll probably. I'm here. I'm here. It's recording while I'm trying to take the battery out of it. That's ridiculous. And there it is on the ground. Wow, that was actually kind of cool. It's recording when I threw it down. Wow, the audio is horrible, but it doesn't matter. You can't hear it over the motors anyway. And that was the controller smashing on it. So, let's see what else there is. I don't know what was going on there. It doesn't differ differentiate between photo and video, so there's no way to tell what you're doing, if you're recording or if it's a video, or if it's a photo. That one's corrupted, won't play. That one's corrupted, won't play. Well, that's a photo. Well, okay. So I was turning it off and on. So there's no way to differentiate whether you're doing photos or videos. It's supposed to be a long, steady beep or red light when you turn on video, but the red light just flashes whether it's photo or video, so it doesn't follow what the instructions say. All right, there's not a whole lot of, uh, well, not a whole lot of light out here, but... Okay, it's already gone through. Oh, wait. There it goes. That's the first time I've been able to get it to fly. And it dropped. Well, I was about to smash it. And that's the best flight it's given me so far. So, I guess it's going to survive another day. Alright, so now that I've had it a little bit longer... I'm able to get it to hover a little bit, but the battery drains way too fast. Can't get it to, can't do anything with it. And uh, I figured out a way to get the camera to come completely off. So you can put the battery in a little bit easier. Still not that easy to do. But, God, that battery is hot. That thing is going to explode. Oh, you know what? This battery is bad. This battery is puffed up. It's about, this battery is about to explode. Alright, well, 
I was really, really disappointed with it at first, but after I got the battery to a real full charge and I was able to get a little bit better uh, grasp on the controls, there, the trim on it does not work at all. There's no hovering with this thing. When it lifts up off the ground, it wants to shoot off in every direction. So you have to compensate with the other stick. And that's really hard to do. I can only get it up off the feet, off the ground a few feet. And, you know, but it has started flying better. Uh, so, if you've never flown one before, and you, you want to get one, you might give it a shot. I would actually personally look for something a little bit better, spend a little bit more money. Uh, but it seems like something to practice with. The camera is utterly useless. Don't even bother with the camera. Uh, find something better or something like that. Unfortunately for this one, uh, it, I'm not saying that's how they're all going to be, but the battery is about to explode. I've only had this thing for one day. I've charged the battery one time. And the battery is puffed up and about to explode. So I need to get rid of it. And the drone is completely useless without that battery. So uh, you can buy a replacement battery, but I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is. You, you buy a $20 drone, you get a $20 drone. Uh, so... Uh, maybe I'll reinvest in another battery and practice with it some, but I really think I'm just going to upgrade to a better, more expensive drone and uh, see if I can do a little better with that. I, I, I want something that can hover itself. This one, uh, it, it actually tries to when you tilt it sideways while the blades are spinning. Some of them stop. It tries to compensate, but it still wants to shoot off in every direction once it's level. So it's... It's, it's not there yet. The trim settings on the controller don't work. Uh, at least not the way they were advertised on the box. But they just I couldn't get them to work. I had to compensate the trim with the other stick. And that made it really hard to control. Because when it started going the other direction you had to compensate again. And it would just, you would lose it. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, mostly because of this battery, which is actually getting worse the longer I talk about it. It's puffing up even more since I started sitting down and talking here. So because of the battery, it is not worth it. it is, that is dangerous. I am going to get that out of my house now. So uh, thanks for watching.